What's up guys, it's Sam and welcome to my first episode of subscriber based reviews. Right now it's a bit of subscribers, a bit of people in my clan, but we'll expand. I want to thank you guys, we're growing so quickly, 114 subscribers, that's amazing. So, first of all, uh, say hi to YouTube. This is actually the second time, oh, hi, not ho. <laughs> so, uh... This is the second time I've recorded, or part of it, because my internet crashed for some odd reason. So, uh, ho, uh, don't make fun of me. So, all wizards for donating, I like that. So, what I would say is, your mortars are fairly triangulated, maybe switch one with elixir storage. I mean, no, no, actually, this one's fine. Switch this one right here with that gold storage. This one here, maybe with that elixir storage. Uh, I don't know. Maybe do spring trap with the bomb, switch those two. I don't know, I just don't like having two in a row, but maybe it works fine. Uh, upgrading looks good overall. You're definitely close to maxing out, close-ish. So get all those final archer towers up to 10. That is definitely a good idea. That never hurts. Uh, upgrade. Get your all your walls to 7. I don't think you need to get them all to 8. If you want to, I support you. Go for it. Uh, besides that, I'm sorry that I'm saying ah so much. That's really bad of me. I want to see that mortar when you have it upgraded and with all the others, but it doesn't, but yeah. <laughs> so I see double walls here. You could probably put those to good use somewhere else, but I see good T intersections. Uh, no, any, no place that he can really get into more than one compartment except for right here, but that doesn't really matter that much. So we're going up uh, now to the striker, or striker. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm really in a an uh phase. So one, two, three, covers almost the entire base. Good job. This is a really pro base, I guess you could say. You are town hall eight. I just wanted to make sure. Good upgrades. This is almost a perfect base. Get, I would say get your giant bombs to two, if not three. I see that. I'm uh, the, Again, all these bases don't have the fourth mortar in them because they're kind of low level. But anyways, really solid. Maybe upgrade your collectors. Oh, I, yeah, at least get your all, all your collectors to ten. Please, please do that for me. Nine, I guess. Just get them to ten, but pretty much maxed out besides that. This is a really solid base, and you reinforced all the uh, intersections right here, where he could he can someone break into two right here. That's level eight, level eight, level eight. You were very clever. I'm very impressed with this. So, at the moment, I really don't have anything to say. Maybe when you get to town hall nine, maybe when you put the second mortar in, I'll have something else to say. I'm going to go to Vishal somewhere here, finding him. I was talking with him. He's probably way down. There we go. So, now this, I actually have something to say about. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, just saying that it can be changed. So here I actually see the fourth mortar in already. And that, I have to say, the layout, like where you put them, that looks pretty solid. I would say, I, I guess you went for your walls first. You're all at, they're all at seven now. Please go for your defenses. I see you just I he just got into crystal. Good job on that, but still I would advise you to just upgrade your defenses. Wizard Tower is level four. Please get them to five at least. Come on. Uh the cannons to level ten are really cheap. And for some reason people including me always save the hidden Teslas to upgrade last. That I guess it sounds like a good idea, but guys, it really isn't. Please just upgrade your hidden Teslas in the middle. I would, yeah, level 1, level 2, please do that. Uh, mm, your traps are not entirely well leveled, so I would probably upgrade those. Uh, this is kind of devious and clever, so I'd, I'd like this. Uh, sure. Maybe that you have too many traps here, but that I guess that is your opinion. So, I have one more, actually. It's a Boom Beach base review. It Oh, actually, no, 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 no. 
I would say please stagger your wall or something one this entire section over here. Uh, one to the right or a few or a few to the right because right here they can get into both of these compartments and they can get into that one. They could basically if they destroy this wall and the wall breakers are clever enough, they can they only have to break through one layer of walls to get to your town hall, which kinda defeats the purpose. So you do it on both of these sides. Over on this like top half is fine, but then you have the bottom half, which is kind of weird. So upgrade everything a little and try to stagger that. So onto what I was initially going to say. We have a Boom Beach base review. I'll be back in just a moment. It's also for Vishal. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. See you What's up, guys? It's Sam. I'm back. I came on at an odd time. If you can see it on the Boom Beach, on the beach of booming. <laughs> It is raining, and that is really unique. So first of all, let's go say hi to YouTube in our in our chat. So let's go get on to that base review quickly. I I have to collect. If I don't collect, I don't win. I don't win at life. So here we go, Vishal. Level 19. Perfect. So... I see you have everything spaced out a lot. I see young mangroves and mangrove trees. You should clear out as much of this as you can and move it all to the back because even a little time and moving them back, it's it gives you a little time and makes the opponent have to go a little farther. So I thought to put these in a line at first. You want to put these mines throughout your base. I can't. Re I wish I could move them to show you, but I can't, really can't. And there's no edit mode. That I I uh but. Put this one, like, right here in between these two, and, but you want to stagger them throughout the base instead of just in one line. Alright, on to everything else. Uh, cannon is well placed. I would put them, what I like to do is put buildings one away from each other. It's probably, a pro it's probably not great because it's, I don't know, it's just a bad habit to get into. Uh, m you're leveling, let's see, HQ7. I think your le your levels are okay, but you do have an area right here. It, you did a good job making sure that all the defenses are in, I mean, all of the buildings are in a defensive area, but you there's still one sniper tower, and I would advise you just... I would, you know, the best thing to do would probably just be to go to, like, a Boom Beach Builder website or something and look up a, ba a ba base, excuse me, for HQ number level 7. There's just so many things, uh, you, but it's really hard to say stuff. Like, what well, once you get into higher levels, you'll, you'll understand. So hopefully I'll see you when you're level 30 or something. And yeah, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I know this isn't part of the base review, but here we go. We we were over here last time. I went to slightly harder arsenal and scrap. So I'm going to go all the way down. Oh, here we go. That's all of it. So I did the more the more challenging one with my heavy zooka. And I was very pr so one person had destroyed a very few amount of buildings. I wanted to kill this off first. So there we go. I got that. I got that down, and then I was like, you know what? I'll just do. Wait. Yeah. So then I put down a barrage. It was so close to killing it. You know, like I was like, I'm gonna spend one more. I did one more uh, artillery, and then one of them died. I put down a shock bu bomb, shock launcher. Oh god. And I really want to take out that boom cannon as quickly as possible, and I kind of did. So then those. Guys started to go over there, so I was like, I don't want you to die because you might. So I'm bringing, I bring them all over there, shock bomb all of that, and then I'm destroying the machine guns. Then the cannons get in range, and it's a bit of a problem. These guys are far away; they're just getting me some more points easy, easierly, easily. So there's one cannon in range, but it's like a level twenty cannon, so it's just destroying everyone. If you oh actually I forgot to mention this I'm trying something a little different I'm hoping the quality is gonna be a little bit better just like the pixelness but if not whatever so now no one's in range I have a bunch of zookas and two of my heavies still left 
I'm taking down this base. Still so many defenses and stuff. Look at all these weird buildings, but I destroy the power core. Boom, there we go. And I, I'm going to... I'm going to put a little extra. I'm going to show you some of the fails against the other base. So what's, what's interesting is you can see that they have uh, power, st they have statues. So then everyone tried against Scrap. So watch, just watch how quickly this person failed. I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just that, so this is after a bunch of people had attacked. And these were all, none of these were actually buildings. So they, he, he aims them towards there and they all just die from those immediately. It's so ridiculous, and the it just doesn't work even remotely for him. Uh, let's go for Spartacus. I don't know why he did all heavies, but let's just watch. He tries to destroy them. He does get a few hits, a good a few good hits, but and puts those guys down. They actually manage to do a little bit of damage. Or actually, no, they don't. But then he brings them to there, get try to get them out of the range. Doesn't work at all. And I will show you the final one after a long, long time. Someone with a lower level of heavy Zuka. All that's left, finally, this is almost out. There, the uh, the rocket launchers are still there and the mortars, but we're just gonna speed this up. Watch him finish, and yeah, not much else to it. So he shock bombs them. No one else is in range. This is perfect. Uh, he put he doesn't can't put another one down. I guess doesn't have enough. They're shooting at them, but in the, a few go down. He finally beats it. We find we have one. We have 125 out of 125 points. I'll show you my task force all the way at the bottom. Right now we're in only we're already down at 1,718th, but we are going to get a bunch more points tomorrow. So we're gonna go up a lot. I'm hoping. So I'm very excited for that. If we actually can get in the top 50, I'll get really hype. But anyways, look at here. So this is my looky here. I'm going to, I don't know why I like saying that, but I do. So here's my task force filled up ridiculously quickly. And a guy probably maybe a ha an hour before the video joined uh, 603 medals. Uh, he is really awesome. I'm really happy that he joined and I hope he can help us. So that's it for today, guys, or at least for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope I helped you in some way. Hope you learn more. I'm actually going to put a link in the description to the Boom Beach and Clash of Clans builder websites. They're really helpful. They've helped me with a bunch of my bases. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.